<laughs> the coalition of votes on projects that are brought in, for example, Barney Pyle is the representative for White Pine County. So if anybody that's interested in the program can go to Brian. Brian basically brings the project up to the coalition members, and the coalition members vote on whether or not to move forward with that project based on the funding that's available. I can been a member of the uh, Main Street USA, not Main Street America, some years ago at one time. Uh, buildings like the Plaza Hotel and whatnot can be re Burgers into something that is useful, and there are an enormous amount of both federal, state funds available that can be done without actually loans. And there's also many charitable organizations, uh, foundations that will, with a good program, will grant you the money to do that has to be done without an expense to the populace of the area or the owner or whatsoever. And those type of things should be looked into. There's still very many, a lot of them that are still available, and we should look into that. Absolutely. In fact, one of the elements of the Ramfels program is reuse planning. So again, they won't pay for the cleanup outright unless it's, for example, a, a non-profit or non-profit that is qualified for the program. But under reuse planning, Although you cannot apply for federal dollars using federal dollars, you can identify programs that would help that specific property owner redevelop his property. So the, uh, also, the intent of the use of the facility, like I have looked at the uh, Plaza Hotel, I think it would be ideal for two room apartments for senior citizens that uh, have homes here and they, they really don't want to take care of their big homes anymore and whatnot. And it's just perfectly located uh, two blocks away from the senior center, a block away from the drug store. Or, so, you know, it, it's a viable piece of uh, that can be really utilized properly. Since it is privately owned, I think Mr. Bath is considering many options. So we can definitely bring forward that idea to Mr. Bath. Thank you. Do you have any else have any questions? Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, and two of the tables. Uh, item three, Councilman Albert. Discussion for possible action. Advice and consent of the Ely City Council to approve Mayor Robertson's appointment of Ross Rivera as fire chief of the City of Ely. I was sure the mayor pro tem read that perfectly correct. <laughs> <laughs> I, I support the mayor's appointment of Ross Rivera's fire chief. He's doing for lots of years now, not so officially. Finally, officially got a fire chief job description <laughs> after 113 years. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's a motion. All right. Okay, I'll so we have that. a motion and a second. Um, any further discussion? Okay, all in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Carried and so ordered. Congrats on your new job, Ross. <laughs> <laughs> do, I, do I have to get sworn in again? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. We can do this in the Okay. I'll okay. <laughs> be days off of again. <laughs> <laughs> Item four, Mayor Robertson, discussion for possible action. Acceptance of Paul Holloway's resignation from the Municipal Utilities Board. So moved. Second. Alrighty. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Number five, Mayor Robertson, discussion for possible action, reappointment of John O'Flaherty uh, to the Municipal Utilities Board, term ending June 30th, 2023. Moved to approve. Second. Okay. All in favor? All right. All right. Any opposed? Okay. So moved. Mayor Robertson, discussion for possible action, reappointment of Ken Ross to the Municipal Utilities Board, term ending 2023. Move to approve. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay. So moved. Number seven, Council Member C. Clerk Lee. Discussion for possible action. Approval to go out to bid for janitorial services at City Hall. Do we have a motion? Question, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Did you budget for that? Yeah. <laughs> I have it, but what the Jennifer, the problem is we really don't got 
Jennifer's doing it on the weekends. And I think that um, with Carly's information she gave us, that even if we just had somebody come in, what do we say, once a week, to clean the bathrooms and vacuum the floors if nothing else, could be done at a fairly inexpensive rate. And that was a point, of course, now that we've had this coronavirus. <laughs> There's a lack of proper ADA access 
and the drain area needs to be a concrete, not asphalt. Again, who approved that calamity? If we're going to do anything new, let's do it right the first time. You can't put people out in the streets. There was a walkway there before, it needs to go back in. You have to have minimum ADA access to that walkway. It isn't there. Madam <coughs> Chair, I reported the ingress, egress on Avenue, on Avenue D located near the Holiday Inn. There's not many minimum street lengths as required by code. The curb located on the north side of Avenue D needs to be five feet from the property line, not the ladder. Okay, thank you, George. Can I get some answers, ma'am? I'm going to start the morning here. I'm doing it under the middle of the meeting. Thank you, George. Any further public comment? Any further public comment? Seeing none, we have a motion to adjourn. Yeah, we'll adjourn. All right. Who did that? I did that. Kurt and Jim. So this is what they all take a card off. Here you go. Any further? This has been a Georgetown production. George Chat just reporting.